What is up everybody? It is a beautiful 84 degree day here in Central Florida. It is race day. We have the Daytona 500 today going on just right over there about 23 miles from me. Now I'm going to be going over to my buddy's house later to uh, watch the race. He's barbecuing. Whitey's home barbecue if you don't know what that is. Um, but anyway today Right now I'm going to, because in the mornings what's been happening in my Mazda here, after I back out of the driveway when I go to put it in drive, for the first couple seconds my first gear slips, which as you guys know the transmission has been going in this car for a while. But I've got this new stuff that I'm going to try. I normally did the trans tune, the Seafoam trans tune, but this time I'm going to try this Lucas stop slip. It's a very, very thick. Um, thick additive where, where the trans tune is uh very thin so i'm gonna try that i'm gonna put in like half a bottle in there let it run for a little bit and then i'll take this car over to my buddy's house in a little while and uh see how it does but that's what i'm gonna do right now i gotta try to figure out a way how to get it in there because it's very very thick so see if i'll set you up here a little bit and see what we can do all right guys well <laughs> change of plans i am not going to put this in here today only because I just checked the transmission fluid <clears throat> and I know it's on an angle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna recheck it once I get it flat, but it is a little bit high. Now the last time I drained some out and put some in, I thought I had it set right and I never really checked it afterwards, but uh, I just checked it with it cold and it's all the way at the full, over the full on the hot side of the stick. So I think there just might be a little bit too much transmission fluid in there. So probably in the next couple days, I'm going to back it into the garage, get it up on the ramps and uh, check it and probably drain a little bit out before I put some of that in. So for right now, I'm not going to do anything. Hoping to see some of the Thunderbirds flying around, but I don't even hear them or see them. Sometimes they'll fly overhead before the fly over on the race, but I don't hear them. I don't see them. I don't see anything going on but if they do happen to show up i will show you otherwise it's race day guys daytona 500 let's go racing boogity 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 later guys the artist and songwriter Breland. oh say can you see by the dawn's early light oh it's so proud Twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets ran What is up guys? 
day after race day. One of the good things about being a best friend with a person that owns Whitey's Barbecue is I get to take home a bunch of food. This is the pulled pork that we had yesterday at the Whitey's Home Barbecue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take about half of this and I'm gonna put it in a bag here. And then I'm going to freeze it for another day. Yeah, that's about half. So that's one of the good things. You get food for about three, four days. I'm gonna take this bag here, I'm gonna throw it in the freezer. And this is what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Later guys. All right, today I'm going to start to texture the wall here in the bathroom. Now, I'm going to start where the toilet's going to be. So I'm going to do it in this area here. Only because if I mess up, <laughs> it's going to be hidden behind the toilet until I can get the feel of, uh, you know, how to spray it and how to spread it and everything. So I'm going to start down there and try to get the good feel of it before I move up to where the holes are patched which is there there and then I got one down here too now hopefully if I do this right it will all match when I'm done so when I paint it you'll never even see where I patch the holes so I'm gonna get you set up here I'm gonna <laughs> attempt to start it I've never done this before um, <clears throat> watch a lot of videos had a lot of instruction on it uh, when I worked at Home Depot so we'll see how this goes Alright guys, so let's see what we get. And that's it, this can is done. Can's done. But you know what? I think that might be good. I did that patch, I did that patch, and I did that patch there. Now, I gotta wait for it to dry. Um, it says it takes about an hour or two to dry. So I'm gonna wait until that dries before I go run out and buy another can of this stuff. So I'm gonna wait until it dries and I'll be back and I'll check back in with you in a little while. Later, guys. Whew, all right, guys. Wow, that stuff really, really smells like spray paint. A lot. I'm gonna have to spend the next hour or two outside, but it is a beautiful day. It's supposed to be I think like 81 today, but here's the thing today is Monday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday. It's going to be in the lower 90s. They're saying we're gonna break records for those four days alone First time it's been 90 degrees in February since 97 I think it said something like that. It's been a long time 96 97 but yeah, it's, it's gonna get hot the next couple days. I might have to turn on my air conditioner. I don't know. But anyway, it smells really bad in there. I got all the windows open, all the doors open. I got all the fans on high. So I need to stay outside here for a little bit. I think I might trim up this tree. It's got a couple dead branches. So does that one over there. So I might trim that up, get it in yard waste for tomorrow. Actually, I think that is what I'm gonna do right now.
all right everybody as you've seen i got everything in the can there a couple little pieces here left to pick up but as you also seen <laughs> i think my hacksaw blade is kind of dull i've been using that same one for like probably the last two years um, i have a package of new ones so i think i need to replace that because as you've seen i couldn't cut through those branches and normally i can go through that real real easy with that blade and uh it's probably just too old and too dull because i use it for pvc pipe everything and i haven't changed it in like two years so gonna be doing that here in a little bit but gonna drag that out to the street then i'm gonna paint this this is the uh exhaust vent cover for the master bathroom um took it off because i gonna be painting um in there coming up here shortly uh so i'm gonna paint that a bright white so it looks like it's brand new I have a can on the shelf, so it ain't gonna cost me anything. And it's gonna look brand new. Can't beat that deal. Later. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who just... And there you go, guys. Looks like it's brand new. I'm gonna let it sit out here in the sun right now. Let it bake for a couple hours and then I'll bring it in, put it on my table with all the other stuff I need to reinstall when I'm done. Later. are very strict on their copyright <clears throat> anyway as you just seen a little bit there's not a lot of room to set a camera up in here at all to get this corner but I did prime the walls now can you tell what see with the texturing that I did there was a patch right there and there was a patch right there but the texturing you can't even see the patch that's why I did the texturing. Same with down here. Down here was where the uh, toilet paper holder was. And you can't even tell that I patched the wall. But I did all that. I did the top of the shower. All of this. Now, next step, I'm going to let that dry overnight. I'm not going to do it today. But uh, maybe tomorrow or... What's today? Today is, today is Wednesday. Maybe tomorrow... Or Friday I will put the final coat of paint on there which I'm going to be using a semi gloss on the outside where the um, the toilet in that is and then above the shower the ceiling on top of the shower I'm going to use a high gloss and that is basically for moisture protection the higher the gloss the better the moisture barrier it has so that's what I'm gonna do in there that probably honest with you it's probably not gonna be till Friday but I'll keep taking you along as I do it. Like I said, there's not much room. There's, you can't get a camera set up in there to see everything. So I'm just going to kind of best I can do it and then show you when I'm done. But anyway, that's it. It's going to be 92 degrees tomorrow. We're going to set all kinds of records the next three days down here. Upper 90s, first days in February in the 90s since 1962. Crazy. We had a super cold winter and now we're having a, well, still winter 
<laughs> super hot winter. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'm gonna go relax. My arm was hurting from painting, reaching up, you know, like that, just like when I did the bedroom, my back's hurting a little bit. So I'm gonna go sit down, I'm gonna rest, and uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Later. Whoo! What is up, everybody? That was this week's Around the House. This week in this Around the House was uh, the Daytona 500. Um, started watching the race here as I was doing stuff around the house. I went over by my buddy's house. He did a big smoke of some pulled pork and all that stuff. And, you know, being, you know, really good friends with the owner of Whitey's Home Barbecue, I always get to take food home when that happens. <laughs> so I brought home a bunch of pulled pork. I did have some the next several days. I do still have a little bit left um, in the freezer in a bag which uh, I had forgotten about till I started looking at these clips. But uh, probably going to pull those out in the next uh, maybe week or so and uh, go ahead and finish that off, make some pulled pork sandwiches. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yep, and uh, let's see what else was there. Oh, I did... Um, I got the side of the bathroom there. I textured it, textured the wall, got that all looking good. I primed it, I painted it and everything, and man, it looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. Um, you'll see coming up um, how good that ends up being. I uh, got a new light fixture in that side there. I replaced the fixture in the shower itself. Um, but yeah, every, everything over there is looking real good. It's all been, you know... It's coming together. It's coming together really good. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Uh, started my new job, which you'll see more of that coming up here. Um, probably three weeks from now is when all that stuff will probably start hitting. Um, next week, you'll probably see me finishing up, putting the toilet back in, getting all that, that side of the bathroom set up. So come back next week if you want to see how that all went. And... Uh, Stay tuned. I'm starting to work on the uh, cabinets and the countertop and the sinks and all that stuff in there. Starting to work on that now, but you know you won't see that for several weeks. But uh, stay tuned. Come on back. Come on back on Tuesday for another taste test challenge. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. You know, all the normal stuff. I'm less than 100 away from 1,000. I am less than 100 away last time I checked. Um, it's been several days since I checked, but I was uh, less than 100. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Consider subscribing. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, like I said, come back Tuesday, another taste test challenge. Come back next Friday for another around the house. See how I'm doing in the bathroom there. And I will see you guys then. Thanks, guys.